Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, good morning. I think we can start. Right. Yeah. 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 Morning, everyone. I uh, hope everyone is good. Uh, we're not a uh, big number here, but I think we will be joining. So it's a stand up, um, going through the schedule. It's, uh, okay, so um, doing a recap of yesterday, yesterday we had a stand up and presentation, and uh, we had introduction to the challenge and then community organization. Unfortunately, uh, we have this session, but today we have the CPS and then the tutorial one data science and workflow and independent challenge work. So, today the standard as usual, then CPS, as I said, above then uh, day tutorial one, uh, change point analysis, and then it can challenge work. So, oh, that's it for today. Then I can hand the mic back to you if there's any progress you to share uh, for now. But more, we, we also hear if there's any question on or challenge that you face, then that would be it. So I think we can hear from you, Nadia and Yadasa. Then if you have more people joined, go on. Anyone who's ready, you can speak. But if you are unable, then you can use the chat. Love if you speak. Nadia, are you ready? Can you go first, maybe? Um, okay, sure. So, can you hear me right? Yeah, I was trying yeah, to look yeah, at sure. uh, some resources given on the um, on the assignment, uh, so that I can have a better understanding on the data analysis workflow. I was reading on that. Uh, still didn't start anything, but I will start maybe right now after the session because like i have to get an understanding uh before i do that i mean before i do the task okay all right so okay this is nice uh Yadasa, Rafa, are you able to speak yeah thank you i yeah. i have just started i have created the folder structure and they created the github repository and i started the just eda eda part i i have no i mean i have no uh, deep understanding about the analysis because it, it, there is only at maybe two columns date and the price so i have to understand and i am reading and the references you have given okay so there's no challenge like maybe that you need any assistance from the tutors uh, okay uh, maybe because i uh, didn't join the the first station, I mean, the first station on this challenge. So I have a, mm -hmm. I have better understanding about the data set, even the data set that we have given. So I have to read, I think, because All the right. I have to understand the turning point like that. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so I will give, I will be giving like uh, more. Uh, details, but uh, I, I wanted to give the chance to Yodahe to share his progress, and after that, uh, like, oh, okay. Uh, I think he shared on the message. Yeah. Uh, so he didn't start, but he's planning to do start his project in the afternoon and planning to watch yesterday's sessions. Okay, so, um, uh, so the for this week you're gonna be analyzing like uh, what caused uh, the price change of oil over the years. So what we have given you, uh, as you have said, yeah, yeah, this is a two column and that data sets. One is for 
the date and the other is for the price. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna have a session in the afternoon about this one, but uh, what you're gonna do is basically you're gonna uh, find the points where there were high uh, or there were high changes of price of oil. And for those dates, you're gonna uh, be looking all, uh, for policy changes or anything that's happened or any decisions that were like uh, uh, like done in order to like change the price of the oil. So basically what you're gonna do is from the data set, you're gonna find the points where there was a change in price. Uh, that is for, that's what we are going to be looking at in the afternoon session. Uh, like the, you, you're gonna be finding the change points and then on for those points, you're gonna be, you're gonna have to come up with some uh, strategies in order to collect data. Uh, it could be from the news, you, you could scrape or you could just search, but uh, like, you know, I want you to to like to come up with your own uh, strategy, and then on. Uh, I I think it's tomorrow. And let me check. Yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna have a Q and A, right? So on that session, we're gonna be discussing about it and uh, like going through uh, your strategies. But for now, you're gonna be going through your the data set and finding the change the change point and trying to find uh, which points you need to look for. So, uh, yeah, so is that clear, yeah, Risa? Because you asked for more classification. Yeah, I'm good now. Thank you. Okay, okay. you're welcome. Oh, uh, okay. sorry, Kim. Yeah, yeah. So, like, are these two columns enough to do all the requirements, the, analyse, the analysis requirements given? So. Yeah, like as I have said, so these two co columns are enough to find the change points. So the change points mean, uh, for instance, like the price of oil may change on, like le let's say, uh, uh, like the date of 9/11, right? So you're gonna this data set is enough to find this point where the price is changed or where we have seen a price uh, change of oil, but Parser analysis is needed. Like you're gonna take that point and you're gonna be digging furthermore in order to find what caused this uh, change in oil, the price of change in oil, uh, like change of oil. So this price is enough to find uh, the change in price of oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, just to add, uh, you know, the, the given data is a time series data. Uh, so uh, during that time, uh, what happens is what we call it a spike, right? Uh, either uh, a, a downward or upward spike. Uh, usually uh, it, it's if the change from uh, day to day is like greater than 20%, uh, but it depends. Uh, it, it's called a spike. So the the first thing you need to do is you need to find uh, the spikes, right? So uh, you also need to gather uh, data from the internet, as Kerod was explaining, uh, like GDP data, uh, technological uh, advancement data, uh, polit political issue data, etc. Right. And then what you do is you you will uh, map that information with the the the, the spike points. Uh, when was the, the the spike happened, right? For example, if it is uh, July 2, 2024, uh, the the oil price might uh, increase by uh, 25 percent, uh, which means there is something that makes it to uh, change that much, right? So you, what, what, what was the, the reason? Was it a, a political issue or a technological advancement or something like that? So you need to uh, relate this uh, with the, uh, the, the data. Uh, I think that's the, the whole objective of this project. So you, you, will, you will scrape or uh, find a data 
from different sources uh, to do that. Yeah. All right. Amazing, amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, Rod and AI. Yeah. So I think now we're good, right? Okay. Uh, we have Matos joined. Matos, how are you doing? It's been a while. Uh, do you have any progress uh, from you? If any feedback or maybe a challenge you would share? Hi, everyone. Uh, uh, yesterday, I was uh, trying to understand the status of the project. I have uh, done some uh, double exploration. Uh, like uh, ED and uh, checking the missing values, checking the data types, uh, and the cleaning. After that, uh, I have also tried to, to do feature and write, uh, and then the gating feature that might help in the model purity. Uh, and uh, today, I'm working on the model. And, uh, I plan to do more on the model and I give time to understand it more. In the, uh, if I can uh, build also an interface for uh, to use a project. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. I think I tried to catch you, though it was kind of noisy on your place. But yeah, thank you so much for sharing, uh, Matthews. Uh, I think uh, that marks the end of our stand up. And yeah, uh, we meet in the CPS. Yeah, the next touch code is CPS. All right. So I think that's it. We can call it a day. Uh, see you next time. Bye.